first opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Detroit Lions. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So out now come the Lions. the ground it's swift to start the drive it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so on any explosive run you can almost feel the ground shaking and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners i had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners run around the offensive line in pregame get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game well they'll run it here on the jet sweep and getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw is gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Throwing on third. Golf. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. When they failed on that third down play, that brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Back deep, Alex Erickson. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it 
and go to something else and create another big play. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now wins. Buying time to his left. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Wentz. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. No, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Sly able to put this one through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Jonah Jackson, former third-round pick, the guilty party. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Here's Goff. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Officially no gain on the play and they're left with a third and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here's gone. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. intercepted picked off by Jamin Davis and the return here is stopped at the 35 yard line 
On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. He got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his wins. And this one is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right, and that will keep this a three-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will complete right side to Funches. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Uh, coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Swift split carries down the middle with Jamal Williams in 2021, but he's one of Detroit's busiest players in the passing game. He caught 62 passes, second on the team, and fourth among NFL running backs. His showing could convince the Lions to make him their RB1. Goff on first down. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On fourth down, gone. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. On first down, it's gone. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's gone. 
Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Lions have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. And, boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show-you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front. Hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And yeah, they were in field goal range last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Lions are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. After the interception, here's Golf. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we've got training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. It's 43-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Golf. He's got his man, T.J. Hackinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 25 on second down, Goff. And that's out to the flat for Swift. 
So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. He's got this complete to Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On second down, Swift. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Goff now looking to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That's a letdown defensively because they had them stacked up third and long, and you know their thought process had to be just make the tackle in front of the sticks and force the three. Instead, they allowed him room to run, and now they're facing first and goal, looking to regroup. Now gone. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Jared Goff connecting with D.J. Chark. And the Lions are in for six. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Thus far, they haven't been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Now Wentz. 
He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, here's Swift. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. It's Williams on the catch. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. Gone. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw his wins. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. 
Throwing now is Wentz. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Jared Davis in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Call it 46 yards on the punt. Just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And they will take over first and 10. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw is gone. Sharks got it, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Goff linking up with Shark for a Lions first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first and 10, Goff. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. Amon Ross St. Brown set a Lions rookie record with 912 receiving yards, and over 60% of those came in the final six games of the season. He got better and better as the campaign rolled on. And when they went to him like he was their top receiver, he produced like it as well. And he certainly earned that spot here in his second year. And he gets a first down for Detroit. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. So he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, golf. On the slant, this is Chark. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. From the red zone now, golf. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, here's Goff. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. There's gone. That pass caught, it's Williams. Touchdown! Jamison Williams hauling that one in from Jared Goff. And the Lions are in for six. And he had time there. I mean, you give any quarterback that length of time, he'll make you pay. It just puts way too much stress on guys trying to cover downfield because, as you said, you're not much time in the pocket. He can scan the field, find the open person. That's exactly what happened there. And what was the end result again? Touchdown. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Wentz. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Straight ahead, Gibson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. And Detroit back in possession of the football. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Eight yards to go on second down. Goff now to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The intended target, T.J. Hawkinson. And it's third down. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Throwing on third, Goff. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch, gets his feet down, sets up a fourth down in short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Wentz. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. On second and ten, Wentz. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Now they got to get to the line quickly. The final shot before half for Wentz. And he finds McClure. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. And they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles. But look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive. At least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Meanwhile, Wentz is thrown into the hands of McLaurin. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on it. Wentz going to try and throw on third. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Shotgun now for Wentz. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff in this Lions' offense set for a first and 10 right at the 30. Goff now looks to throw. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. The Goff's throw taken in by Chark. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Off play action. Here's Goff. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Swift going to try up the middle. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third of inches. Here's Gong. Man open, and St. Brown has got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third in less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Second and goal from inside the five. Back to throw, gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions are in for six. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. 
Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action. Now wins. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Now Wentz on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out. That's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Here's Tressway now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That's taken on the 25. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And Detroit getting set to go now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Goff now looking to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. They'll try the air now with Goff. They'll get this one to the Golden Dome of St. Brown. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. This is Swift on the counter, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now golf. The open man is Shark. It's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, Bartner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Williams trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Now it's gone. But he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Lions have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ballgame. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Washington ready to try again on offense. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually... His internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. On second and inches, Wentz. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it's third and four now. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. From the gun, it's Wentz. And Thomas has it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Over this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Wins his row complete there to Thomas. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? 
Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Winston Johnson, your connection there for the commander first. Wentz now to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 44, Wentz to the right side and completes to Thomas. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. It's not quibble cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Washington on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. Here it's third and two. Now a play fake. Wentz. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 15-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Into the red zone, Wentz. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. On second and very short, Wentz. A throw to the flat here from McKissick. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Gibson is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. So stuff from the two. Now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. On second and goal. Wentz. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. McKissick will take this one in. Touchdown, Washington. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And he gets it to go to make this a 35-10 score now.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Right back to Swift again on second down. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do. But I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Steps away. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Wentz. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Looking to throw again on second down. Wentz. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They tried to throw on second down. Unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And he finds McLaurin. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now Wentz. Open man is Samuel, complete. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left.
Shotgun now for Wentz. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders get a bit closer. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. Just all around a solid performance. And now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles. So the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. So it's a win here for the Lions. And the guy who spearheaded things was their quarterback, and that's Jared Goff. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level.